window. Show me your hands, Downey. Show me your hands. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Natalie, stay back. Stay back. Where's Monk? What's he doing? Relax, Captain. He's still alive. For now. Where is he? What did you do with him? You'd be saving both of your lives. You want to find your friend. I want something, too. I want a car to the airport. I'm already packed. I want a jet that can fly 2,000 miles without refueling. When I'm in the air, I'll tell you, A, where I'm going, and B, where you can dig up. Yeah, dig. You can dig. Oh, my God, I think he's had a heart attack. Down. He's got no pulse. Down it. Don't die on us. Don't where, die on us. Where's Monk? Down it. Where's Monk? Where's Monk? We both know what's happening here, Adrian. You're having what Dr. Kroger would call a psychotic break. It's a defense mechanism. How long do you have? Oh, uh, there's 50 cubic feet of air in the coffin. 35 minutes, maybe 40. Let's talk about something else. How did you know it was the grave digger? They noticed the stamp in the back of his hand. At the time, I didn't think anything about it. But then, later, I saw the exact same stamp on Natalie's hand. So you knew Chris Downey had been to the museum? That's right. He stole Sonny Chow's hairbrush. Because he needed Chow's DNA so he could frame him for murder. But why Sonny Chow? So the police would exhume his body. It all started six years ago. I remember the case. Downey had stolen a half a million in jewels from a courier. During the getaway, he assaulted an off-duty cop. He was convicted on the assault, but they couldn't get him on the robbery. They never found the diamonds. Exactly. He was working here at the cemetery. Before he went home, he must have stopped here and hid the jewels. Where? In Sonny Chow's coffin. It was perfect. Chow was scheduled to be buried the next day. Downey figured he could always come back and dig it up even five or six years later. You felt him in the pillowcase. You felt him when Natalie hit you in the back. That's right. I want that backhoe running, ready and running. Keep it running. All right, listen up. So figure he's got about 40 minutes of air if he's not panicking. So figure on 15 minutes. This is Monk. I want the best you got. So we're going to spread out and we're going to work the grid, all right? We're looking for fresh dirt, tire tracks, Food prints, anything. Captain, Let's go, go. Captain, there's a problem. The cemetery's just expanded. They just tore down a restaurant over there. It's all dug up. It's like an acre and a half. Monk could be anywhere. Captain's already been 20 minutes. Even if you find him, he'll be a basket case. Hang up, everybody. This way. Let's go. So Chris Downey went to prison for six years. He was paroled three weeks ago when he came back to dig up the jewels. <clears throat> he must have had the shock of his life. The monument? Exactly. While he was gone, some fan club put up a monument. Solid granite. Weighed three tons. He realized he couldn't dig the coffin up, at least not quietly, uh -huh. or by himself. So he got his old job back at the cemetery and then framed Sonny Chow for murder and got the police to dig up the jewels for him. Congratulations, Detective. A lot of good it does me here. Hey, darling, shh. It's all I right. can't break that. It's all right. Adrian. Adrian. I can't. Save your breath. Great. Save your breath. It's all right. Should we bring in the cadaver dogs? Not yet. The traffic light's out. The traffic light is out. It was working three hours ago when I got here. Son of a bitch! What? 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 I think he cut the power line when he was digging the hole! 
Dig along here. Over here. Over here. He got the cable. Everyone. Right there. 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 To the wrong side. Power cable. You're so beautiful. I, I should have taken more pictures. you to do something for me. I want you to close my office and pay her what she needs. I, I can't close. It's just four walls and a door. It means nothing. Adrian, you have to go now. No, Adrian, no. Adrian, you have to go. Oh, no. You have to go. He's breathing. Get him some oxygen. Call Dr. Charles Kroger. Tell him to meet us at the hospital. He's smiling. I've never seen him look happy yet. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's 